Well, back again. This time, just going to be baiting up some of the mackerel rigs we've done in the last few days. Um, I've just got one little slimy here. I'll just use that for a couple of rigs just to give you an idea. Okay. So, first of all, I think last video we done one of these rigs. Okay. See, very simple. Small hook, sinker, and a treble. These things are so simple. So, small slimy, or yakas, or whatever you got, got. Just with the front hook here, you just want to pierce him through the nose. Just in front of his eyes there, you've got a little holes. Just pierce him in. That's it. That's how your bait's going to look. I don't worry about putting the treble up under here. Some guys, some guys do pierce them in there. I don't worry about it. Because when you're slow trolling these things, you're pulling along like so, the fish is kicking like mad, the treble's going to hang back near the tail anyway. It's going to hang back there. And nine times out of ten, the mac will hit the tail, you're going to catch them on his treble anyway. So that's really, that's it for that, that rig. That is so simple. And once again, um, if you haven't got a down rig, just tie them as is. They've got a little tiny sinker on the nose. So just in and out of gear or just in gear, very, very slow. Troll the knees around bait schools or the shallow reefs in close. Works very well for mackerel. They, there's, the bait schools sit under the surface and swim with that little bit of sinker on him and just swim quite nicely. And the other thing you can do is actually tie them behind a down rig or put them down deep with this rig. Also works well. You don't have to put the sinker on for that, but if the sinker's there, it doesn't matter. It's not going to affect it. Just leave the sinker on. Uh, tie it behind the downrigger. Also works very well, when you, especially when you're in deeper water, like on the 24 fathoms. And the other thing I do with these at times is after a while you get sick of drift, um, driving around, so I'll just go for a drift. So I'll put a variety of different baits down. I'll put one of these down, but the difference is this one, I'll actually, when I'm just drifting around, I'll actually put the hook in his tail. Otherwise, while you're drifting, while you're drifting around, the fish is just swimming, the hook's gonna be down there, and it's not gonna work. You're gonna get bitten off the head every time. So if you're just drifting, and there's no drag, pin him up under the tail. Um, and like I said, that's it. You can use a variety of different baits with this rig. Rig it up exactly the same way if you're running a tailor, or a bigger slimy, or a pike, or anything. Just the one, one through his nose. Adjust the length of the treble, uh, the wipe between the hook and the um, top hook and the treble. Just adjust that to suit the length of the bait fish you're running. Even go up a bigger size treble if you're running a bigger bait fish. Same rig, just adjust you know, the hook sizes and the length to suit your bait. And it does work well on Spanish and spotties. So that one's very simple and very easy. See that rig, that's so simple. Next one. This is the main one we troll around here. This rig's been around forever. I do make them up and as well. Um, okay, for this one here, as you can see, it's got a nose cone. And hopefully you can see that wire sticking up there. And that wire sticking up there for a reason. I'm gonna show you that in a second. So, okay, with this bait, this type of rig, what we wanna do is measure it out. So you've got bait down there. Well, if that wire that's sticking up, I suppose I should show you, that wire that's sticking up, it should roughly go here where the eyes are. Okay, that's going to go up from the bottom through the top, through the hard part of the bone. Okay, there. So you line the bait fish up so that wire is there. And line it up so your troubles are down here. So now, one's at the back. So what we do is start at the back. Just very gently. You don't want to rip these fish either, you just want to do them, just put them in nice and easily and gently. It takes a couple of minutes. And this bait's a bit dry and hooks are a bit sticky. But... Okay, so one, two. Now the third one. What is that? Okay, so one, two, three, you can see. Now with the wire between the gills down here, let's go straight up between the eyes. Pull out at the top of the backbone, through the back, uh, through the hard bone at the top of his head there. Like so. 
Now, with the nose cone, just slide it down. You'll see where it starts here. Just put it over the top of his nose, like so, and now I'll just wind it on, just until it's snug. That's it. There's your bait. So all I do now is I just give it a bit of a tug and a pull, and you know, <laughs> make sure it's nice and straight, like so. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's in there, it's ready to go. You slide your, slide your little squid down, dress him up. That's your bait. Okay. All you have to do now is just drop it in the water at the back of the boat while you're just in gear and slow trawl. Make sure when you put the bait in, the bait's tracking straight. If it's tracking straight, it's swimming, it's fine. You're not going to get any tail kicks out of this. You will out of like pike and sometimes gar if you're doing properly, you'll get the tail kicking, which is great. But in these smaller baits like small slimies, yakas, pilchards, they're not going to kick. They're just going to track straight. As long as they're tracking straight, you're good to go. You let them out and you're, that's fine. That, there you, that's your bait rigged up, ready to go. Okay. Nothing hard about it. it. Takes a couple of minutes when you're not used to it. A little bit of practice, but it's not that hard, guys. And that will catch bodies and spaniards. And when it comes to these bigger rigs, like you've got a bigger one here, it's, just, it's the same thing. So I run like uh, the big slime is on this. You rig it up exactly the same way. And then it's just got a bigger skirt, you go over the top. Nothing changes, same, same. And then this one here is a four hook rig. I run this one with pike and big gar, like large gar. And it's the same rig, same deal, rig up the same way. Just measure it so you spike here, up between the eyes, and give an idea where the back hook's going to go, then the tail, then one, two, three, four, then the spike. Same deal, trolling the same pace, nothing changes. Bait sizes, amount of hooks on the rigs, that's it. Well, I hope that helped. Um, I hope a lot of you guys get out while the weather's, weather's clear and get a few mackerel. And I look forward to seeing, seeing some of you guys in the shop. See ya.